Hey everybody, this is Michael Pavlovich, and welcome to Intro to ZBrush, part one. So, part one, you might be asking yourself, why do you need multiple parts for just an intro course? Well, if you've been watching ZBrush over the past few years, you probably know that it's grown to be a pretty big program, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, when you need to create something with a lot of quality and very little time, uh, because it's such a big program, you can utilize a whole arsenal of tools and have a nearly unlimited amount of possible techniques and workflow options. Now, on the flip side of that, it can obviously be a little daunting to people new to ZBrush to kind of even dip their toe in and feel it out. And by new people, I don't just mean students. I mean grizzled industry veterans been doing 3D for decades. ZBrush is a super powerful tool, and with that comes a super number of options. So if you're reading through the manual trying to piece together information from videos and forums, obviously I can understand how that can get a little bit tricky to navigate. So, with that in mind, for part one, I decided to only focus on the introductory features that would be the most fundamental in getting you up and running. And by up and running, I mean getting you creating as fast as possible within the ZBrush interface. So this section isn't meant to be an exhaustive overview, obviously, of every single menu option and feature in ZBrush just yet. You know, we got, we got some time. We're only going to cover what's needed to become proficient, like I said, in sketching out your ideas in 3D. With that said, we'll start with overview basics, file handling, primitives, navigation, orienting yourself within the ZBrush interface, get some basic terminology under your belt, and then immediately get into why you probably picked up ZBrush in the first place, which is sculpting. We'll hit Dynamesh Basics, Organic and Hard Surface Brushes, Masking, Transposing, Selections, Modifier Brushes like Clip, Slice, Selections, basically everything you need under your belt at first to be proficient enough to get your ideas out. Once we've covered those in a fair bit of detail, we'll get into head sculpting exercises, utilizing a number of techniques and tools that we've learned up to this point. Turn that into a 3D bus sketch, do a couple variations just for fun, and then at the very end we'll go nuts and create a quick creature sketch to kind of finish off this intro section. Now, don't think for a minute that we're done introducing ZBrush. This very first part is just to get you oriented and productive in a very basic way. In fact, the next section being released will begin with how to boost your speed with what you know with hotkeys and custom menus. And then we move right into advanced brushes, custom brushes, Z-spheres, posing, accessory mesh creation techniques, and a whole bunch more. Anyway, my hope is that these videos will take some of the growing pains out of ramping up on ZBrush. And most importantly, actually, adding another powerful tool to your tool belt so that you can spend more time creating by utilizing what ZBrush is actually good at. These videos should build on each other in a way that by the time you reach the end of each section, you'll feel confident about what you've learned and be able to apply what you've learned to new projects as well as eventually be able to problem solve with your new abilities in a production pipeline. So, let's get in there and start ZBrushing.